Good outside shot. Rebounds pulled down hard by... Oh, no. Out the ball is Mur Murdoch McKay's. The score is 2-0 uh, for uh, Murdoch. Well, they got a little confused on there. Seems like there should have been a screen and... Who's leading? Down the front court. Very quick guard, that number 11, uh, Ace Awan. He's, he's quick, he's a good guard. I was watching him this afternoon, he's so quick. Gets a lot of good shots away by taking the ball right to the hole. Mike Heckle, point guard for Murdoch, controlling the ball in the front court. Oh, good pass, good try by, by Denby. This is going to be a very interesting game because St. John's does not uh, goes to their bench quite a bit more than uh, Coke, uh, Murdoch. Going does. to the hole hard. We don't have a name on him. Oh yeah, Boy Boyda, Jason Boyda for Murdoch McKay. Good rebound. That was Again, hardly by stopped by number 15 from St. John's. Yeah. Delarod. Little pressure in the backcourt by St. John's. I see that's kind of different to see in the first half. I haven't seen too much pressure lately. Well, I was talking to the coach before the game, and he said that he's going to try to change up their uh, defense a bit because they're a bit tired. So yeah. we'll be seeing quite a bit of different defenses from them. They're trying to move that ball around. They get a good shot away. Good tight to the hole by Heckle. Foul on the play. Oh. I have travel. word that uh, Heckle is one of their most consistent players. Seems that way right now as he goes to the hole. Dumps it down low. Oh, short shot. Couldn't get the shot on it. That was a pretty big kid. Number 31 for, for Murdoch. Oh, good take to the hole. They're slowing it up on the offense. Dumping. Good shot. Does it go? No. Good rebound. Pulled down by number 22. Tanstra. This is the second Johnson. time these teams are playing. They played before at Tech Rock Tournament. Mm -hmm. Scored by Delarondi. Murdoch won that game by 18. They're looking to get the ball inside to Denby. From the outside, ooh, doesn't go. Up quick. Cruz. I've noticed that Murdoch has a lot of trouble getting the ball inside. I watched their earlier oh, game. Oh, block. <laughs> Big block out there by Mr. Lawson. He's been playing a fine game today. We have a timeout, Murdoch. Score presently is 8-4 in favor of Murdoch McKay. 3.54 left in the first quarter. You were saying that uh, St. John's is having a tough time getting the ball inside. Uh, it, it's pretty tough when they're not as tall as Murdoch. I mean, Murdoch is a pretty well-built team. And they got heights of 6-2, uh, 6-3. Six six That's pretty big in a freshman freshman uh, type of ball game. Yeah, but they do have the good outside control by yeah. the guards. Yeah, Heckle is running the ball game really good. <coughs> ball will be on the side out. St. John's ball. And it's in play. Trying to get that offense going. Can't get it in. Move around the horn. Dumped inside to number 20. Oh, foul on the play. 
three seconds called. St. John's depends a lot on their big man, number 15. Yeah. Oh, up and up. There we go. We have a foul. But he's a there. very aggressive player. As you see there, he picked up a foul. Oh, tipped away. Good try, though. Good try. If they come up quick, St. John's. Drive to the hole hard. And it's travel ball. Murdoch's ball in there. Putting it up pretty quick. Yep. But it's a turnover. And another turnover. Lawson on the steal. Foul on the play. And foul on number 14. Coughness. And out ball. Into Lawson. Lawson back to Heckle. Heckle puts it in two. In the front court. We got Sore. As they're playing a little bit of catch out there. Puts up a nice shot from the inside. Ball seems to be moving quite quickly in the St. John's part of the court. Stolen away there. Stolen away by number five, Cruz. Cruz. He's having trouble with the ball in the back court. Gets up quick. Oh, and they have a back over call. Good try by Cruz. Heckle controlling the offense again. Good ball handling. Trying to get it inside. Denby back out. Warded now, trying to get the ball around to Lawson. Lawson pulls up, shot. Ooh, bricked off the board. Back out to Lawson. Lawson back out to Heckle. As they control the ball in the front court. Quickly they go into Boye. Ball's loose. Lawson picks it up, pulls up. Hits for two. That's Lawson's shot. I've seen him take that shot time and time, and he hits those. Cruz in the front court now. Only offense. Into Coffins. Ball's out of bounds off the side of the board. Score right now is uh, 10 to 8. Side. In favor of Murdoch. Trouble. Oh. Murdoch McCabe on the turnover. Heckle up the court. Dumps all oh, its oh blocked. But Boyes takes up the ball and puts it back in. As we in the front court now with Sore. Back out to to Tamchak. Tamchak loses the ball all the time. Still St. John's ball. Delaronde back into Sore. Cruz on the outside. Wants to take his man, does. Pulls up short though on the shot. Quick out to Heckle. Heckle True. breaking long. Ooh, looked like foul in there, but travel was called. And it's a 10-10 game. Score is still 10 all. Under a minute left to go in the first quarter. Sorry, pulls up. It's short. And it's tipped Tam back check. out. Tam check. Pulls up again. Doesn't go. Short. Oh. Good shot by Cunningham. It seems that they are both dominating the offense and defensive boards right now. St. John's up 12 to 10. 30 seconds in the quarter. Lawson with the ball at the top of the key. Denby in the corner to Heckle. Heckle called baseline, pulls up. It's short. And another rebound by St. John's. Number 21, Cunningham. Twelve ten, St. John's, 16 seconds left in the quarter. 
Soraya at the top of the key. Into Cunningham. Cunningham back out to the top. They're wasting a lot of time. Cruz There's two it. seconds left. Cruz pulls up on here. Prayer. Oh, it doesn't go. Cruz seems to be the playmaker on their team. Yeah. 12 10 in the end of the quarter. Uh, St. John seemed to dominate that, that first quarter with their uh, good shooting and good drives to the hole. I'd have to say that Murdoch needs to go back inside on St. John's and start banging in there like they were doing in the beginning of the quarter. But they have to make their shots because they're not getting that second or third chance that they should get. Yeah. Definitely have to make those shots. Uh, we have a note here. The season record for Murdoch McKay was 18 and 6. Wow. Uh, they played Tech Vock in St. John's. It, they defeated Tech Vock and St. John's uh, earlier on in the season. They seem like a good team. They'll probably go far later on in the provincial. But uh, that game, uh, St. John's center wasn't playing uh, dis disciplinary reasons or oh, something like that. Oh, got benched, did he? Plays, in, plays resume. That calls it top of the key. Started the second quarter. Lawson back out to Demby. Lawson gets the ball back, pulls up. Short. Another rebound for Cunningham. Blue that's his third. Ball's up quick. Layup, and it goes. Cam Chuck. Nice change of pace layup, that was. Echo again. St. John's is now in a zone. A 1-3-1, one, one, is it? Yeah, they're dropping back in that 1-3-1. One, one. Sorry, oh! Taken down hard by Lawson. Sorry's fouled, he'll be shooting too. That was a good play, dragging the uh, defendant into him, causing the foul. Shooting too. Here's his first one. And it goes. Good style of free throw shoot. St. John's always had good free throw shooters throughout the years. So. Yeah, St. John's has always been quite a strong team. Yeah. And the second one goes as well. That puts it to 16-10 for St. John's. They're coming out hard in the second quarter. Echo. Out to Lawson. Lawson on the right hash mark. Well, they're moving the ball around the around the horn really well. They dump it inside. The bearing, oh, doesn't go. And they still they do nothing with Cruise it inside. On the break. Oh, tipped a little bit by Lawson. And they get the boards by Heckle. Heckle up quickly. Trying to go to the hole, stolen. And by Cunningham Soray. up quick to Cruz. Cruz tips it up to Sorry. And back it is in. They gotta finish. Murdoch's gotta finish on those breaks. They gotta go in control. Once it gets inside, something always happens. They yeah. have to try to work it in and try to get a good shot inside. St. John's still in the zone. And again, it's stolen again by St. John's. That's their third straight turnover. Cruz up the court. Sorry, pulls up and it's blocked by Heckel. Heckel steals the ball and dumps it into the full court. Everybody stopped. They uh, wanted to get a foul, but yeah. none was called. No foul was called on that play. Clean block. Going inch quickly. Nice pass. Cam check and cam check for two points. I've noticed in these games that there's a lot of inside passing. Timeout. Timeout St. John's. And the score is 20 to 10. Five minutes and 54 seconds left in the second quarter. Or in the half, I should say. And St. John's is putting it to. They're back in that zone defense, that 2-3 or 1-3-1. One, one, it sort of switches on when the ball's on the side. They seem to be uh, dropping back and, and really taking away all those lanes, that, those passing lanes. Yeah, I don't think they were doing quite well before uh, St. John's went to the zone. I think they're not too used to playing in a zone. That's their problem Yeah, that they have to work on. But their league is not as strong as the city which St. John plays in. So, so you're saying that Murdoch, Murdoch McKay... Uh, it is having trouble against the zone because they don't play a lot of zone in their division. Yes, yeah. exactly. But in their division, they are ranked second. So St. John's is ranked sixth. Well, back to live action here. The Cloninese, freshman boys, 
basketball tournament here at Kildonanese. This is the uh, third place game that you're watching right here. Ball's over quickly. They're moving the ball around the horn really well, but they have to get some shots away. Heckle in the corner. Back up to Lawson at the top of the key. Lawson looks to penetrate. Dumps out the board eight. Back and it's pass recovered. Up. And it was covered well. Inside by Heckle to board eight. Ooh, Good there's pass, a, but there's a foul. Jason Boyda shooting two. Almost a turnover earlier with that bad pass from Borda. He'll be shooting two. First one goes. Second of two. As you can see by he has a very nice form when he shoots. Very clean. Oh, doesn't go but on this one. he misses. Gave him probably the kiss of death. <laughs> yeah, probably jinxed him on that one. Up early to Cruz. Cruz shoots. Swish. Nothing but net on that shot. 22-11. St. John's leads. Stolen by Cunningham. Driving hard to the hole. Double pump. Ooh, doesn't go. Rebound taken hard. Pulls up and it goes. Number 15, Della Ronde. And there they are, killing them on the boards again. I think Heckles needs to penetrate on, on you. Get something inside, and there's a foul on the play. Cunningham. And a ball on the side. Murdoch's ball. Heckles, top of the key. Voida. 4.35, left in this half. Dumps it inside. <laughs> Robinson and and it's lost. St. John's ball. They're still not working it down far enough. They're making too many turnovers here. St. John's, Cunningham in the corner, looking for someone to pass it to. Back up to Sora. Sora. Back in the oh. corner to the big man. But he can't get it in. Turns over. St. John's making some mis some mistakes now. Heckle goes hard to the hole, gives it off to Boyda, and Boyda puts it in. Cunningham. Cunningham brings it over the timeline. Looking to drive. Oh, brings it back out to cut Cruz. Cruz, Cruz takes a three-pointer, but it doesn't go. Sorey picked up the rebound. The little man inside, their point guard. Just shows you how much they have to block out. It's all in positioning, they say. Heckle brings Murdoch over the timeline. To Boyda. Boyda to Lawson across the court. Pulls up Lawson. Whew. Swish from 16 feet. Was that a three-pointer he took? Or? No, it was just inside the line. Just inside. 26-13 in favor of St. John's. A little pressure there by Murdoch. And they, turn and it they over. throw it away. Up quick is, he is Heckle. Behind the back, drives to the hoop. Board, nothing. Pull down hard. Number 22 for St. John's, Kamchuk. Stolen by Lawson. Lawson tries to Popped get it up, up the court. Can't get it going. Cunningham, Cunningham double with pump. a nice pink, Ooh, pink pump. Does it mean? And that was a nice ball for Cunningham. He seems like a kind of guy who might be a little bit uncoordinated, but he, he pumps well in there. Yes, he does. Oh, a little double pump, a little clutch and ground, and almost went for the guy. Murdoch's ball on the side. As they bring it up slowly with under three minutes to go. 26-16 in the third place game. Second quarter, if you just turn on your TV set. Lawson, ball inside. Out to Boyda. Boyda tries to feed it through the lines. Oh! And a nice shot by, by number Denby. 50. Denby, he's been playing a strong game in there. Anytime he gets the ball inside, he goes to the hole well. Out quick, sorry. Double Seems pump. like Denby's their enforcer. Cunningham with the rebound, tipped by Lawson. Cunningham, Cunningham gets, it back, gets it back. Looking inside. Lawson's up in the air. Shot doesn't go. Heckle up quick. Looking for someone to give the ball to. Lawson, Lawson. pulls up. It's a brick. 
Cunningham, Cunningham has it here. But he gets fouled by Lawson. A little bit of frustration foul there after he missed his shot. Lawson came back and fouled Cunningham. Story from the three-point line. Ooh, sh just shy of Lawson pulls down the boards. On the drive. He's bringing he up strong. Coast to coast. Ooh. Little double pump. And Sore on the break now for St. John's. Goes to the hole. Rolls off. I think that was a good no call. There was not much of a contact to enforce a charge or a blocking. So good no call by the ref. Good no call by the official. Lamaru. Out to board. Another board steal is, by Cunningham. Board is making some difficult passes there. He's trying to feed, feed it through and Cunningham takes a shot. He doesn't go. Still St. John's ball. Tipped out for number 31, Lamaru. New check into the play. Again for St. John's. Renez. And, and it's out of bounds. St. John's turns the ball over again. St. Murdoch's ball. Heckle up the court quick. Stolen by Cunningham. And Cunningham comes over the timeline. He's stolen back by Lawson. And the ball's back up to Heckle. Heckle coming up. Good pass. To Demby again. And Demby's shot at this one. Another frustration foul. These teams should be quite tired. Maybe that's their problem. 26-18, with a minute and five seconds left in the half. Check into the play. Number 55 from Murdoch McKay. Robertson. He takes out Denby. Well, that's a little bit of foul trouble. He has two fouls. Out to Cunningham on the side. Into they get it into the paint. And, Ooh, and they take it up strong. But they, surprisingly enough, if they get the ball inside St. John's, they, they seem to score. Um, they don't have many big men, but when they get the ball inside, they know what to do with it. Well, it seems like as soon as they get it in, uh, Murdoch's big men collapse on whoever has it, which Stole enables... Stolen by uh, Cunningham. Oh, good try by Cunningham. Good try which enables St. John's to pass it off and get a wide open shot down low. Mm -hmm. Heckle, Borda, back to Heckle. Goes up, doesn't go. Woo! And a nice a, shot by number 55. That was a strong rebound by Robertson, wasn't it? He sort of stood on his tippy toes and pulled it down. Kind of over the timeline. Gets it into number 22, Tanchuk. Tanchuk loses it and Murdoch ball as it goes out at the end. Nine seconds left in this half. 28-20 now for St. John's. Murdoch. Heckling. Going for last shot. Ooh, blocked. Strong. And it's blocked. Time and that's the end of the first half, folks. Oscar won't go. End of the first half, 28-20 for, for St. John's, rather. Uh, it was a pretty exciting half. Yeah. Uh, I, thought, I thought that uh, Murdoch would be taking stronger to to St. John's because they are, they have the height advantage over St. John's, but uh, it seems that that uh, St. John's knows what to do with the ball when they get the ball down low as well. Yeah, well, Saint, I think St. John's will prevail because they have a deeper bench. Like, Murdoch does not go to their bench as much mm -hmm. because basically uh, their players are just out of junior high. Mm -hmm. They can't really depend on them for, well, being in this sort of situation. Okay, we'll just take a break right now. Uh, as it's halftime, 28-20 in the Kelowna Nice Reaver Roundup. Greater Winnipeg Cablevision vous présente les 15 Jeux Olympiques d'hiver de Calgary sur le Canal 21. Veuillez cependant noter que seuls les téléspectateurs qui ont un convertisseur ou ceux qui possèdent des télévisions et ou magnétoscopes à convertisseur intégré auront accès à ce service temporaire. Tout commence le 13 février. Ne manquez pas les Jeux olympiques d'hiver de Calgary.
Okay, we're back to the GWC 11 Sports Channel as the Reavers Roundup. The second half of the third place finals, St. John's versus Murdoch McKay. St. John's is up 28 to 20. As the ball goes down low, it's number 22 for St. John's, Tamchuk, and he scores. He has six points in the first half. He's now with eight. We have some stats from the first half. Uh, for both teams. Yeah, we got Heckle with four points. Lawson has five points and two fouls. Boyda has five points. Working has two points. And Denby has two points. For St. John's, we got Cruz with five points. Suavar with ten points. Kofnis only has one foul. Deleron, one foul, start, one foul. Cunningham has six points, and Timchuk has six points. Back to live action, Lawson just hit an outside jump shot, and the ball was tossed up quickly, and Cruz, Cruz puts hit another two from the outside. Cruz has been taking an outside jump shot and hitting them, as he now has seven points. Oh, ball stolen from Boyda. It looks like they're going to have the same problems at the start, trying to get it inside. Same thing. Tamchuk, again. Another two. He now has ten. Heckle behind the back, now in trouble. Gives it off to Boyda. Boyda. Pulls. Oh, fake. Nice Guess pass. Gives it a 55. Robertson. I believe that was uh, Denby on that play who picked up the shot and scored. But who's who's seen? I don't know. 34-24. St. John's still in the lead. Ten points up. 6-19 left in the third quarter. Foul called on the play. Push. The ref calls as Cotness. This is awarded a foul. This is the second foul team's first of the half. And you're walking, watching GWC 11. Lost the only freshman boys basketball tournament, third place game. Heckle, looking for someone to pass the ball to, gets it in quick. Heckle again, back out to Lawson. Lawson, Lawson with a shot. Ooh, drops. That one hit the back of the rim straight up and straight in. And Cruz. Cruz. And Heckel picks up his third foul. His third foul is uh, So one shot, basket counts, 36-26. St. John's still in the lead. Cruz's sh second shot doesn't go in. Ball's up quick to Lawson. Lawson going to the hole. Tipped away. Oh, but foul's called. Number 11, Swivar. He's going to be shooting too. Subs in, number 30, Reness. And he takes out number 14, Coffins. Who has two points. Probably leaving the game because he has two fouls. Picked him up, uh, picked up one in the first half, and just picked up another one. Yeah. Lawson's foul shots doesn't go, but he gets his own rebound, shoots and hits the two pointer, makes up for it. Quick out of bounds. Gain Cruz. Double pump. Bank. Double nice shot touch. By Cruz. Nice touch. I like the way he uses that glass, just like an NBA pro. Little press coming in for St. John's. Lawson gets the ball, runs away with it, goes right to the hole. Whew, puts up a shot, almost makes it. Denby that picks up his rebound. Number 50, Denby. So our, our score right now is 38-30, St. John's. Cruz, three-point shot. Short just the mark. Picked up the rebound by Tamchak. His shot doesn't go. Murdoch with the ball, off to Heckle. Heckle over the half line to Lawson. 
Lawson pulls up. He's fouled on the play. He draws the foul. And he'll be shooting two shots. A St. John's foul on Rene. His first foul, the team's third of the half. And if Lawson can manage to make these two, he'll be taken out by number 34. Oh, Boyd is checking back in. Lawson's been having a tough time at the line here. Boy, he makes this one, though. Subs for the shooter. Boyd 34, checks back Jason in. Basin. Uh, Boyd, sorry. Live action again. Nice pass by Soar to get the ball down low, but it's gone out of bounds. Turnover for St. John's. 38-31, four minutes and 36 seconds left in the second, in the third quarter, rather. Murdoch up the ball, up the court real quick. Offensive foul on Heckel. Pushing off, the referee says. So I've been watching him, and he always gives that little nudge with the elbow. St. John's goes to the board hall is Savar, and he pulls in another two points. Borda gets the ball up quick. They lose it again to St. John's. St. John's picking up, a, making them turn the ball over a lot. Cruz on the outside, waiting for the offense. Waits for Tanchak. Tanchak. Oh. Travel ball. St. John's turns the ball over. And the beautiful play by Savar on the outside. Cruz into Tanchak. Tanchak. Does this Nobody shot wants that ball. Rene passes inside to Delarande. And he picks up another two points. 42-31. Three minutes and 45 seconds left in the third quarter. A ball stolen, almost stolen away by St. John. Denby, this shot doesn't go. Rebound and shot does not go. Foul on number 15 from St. John's. Delaron. Number 31, Lamarou had good position underneath the hoop. Score is 42-31 for St. John's. But he couldn't get that shot to go in. It's in the right place, but can't finish it off. Ooh. That was a noisy one. Just a little rattle. Second of two. Here's the second shot. Much better. But stepped over the line and didn't go anyways. St. John's up quick to Cruz. Cruz, he Cruz steps up. on a line. One line, a line for a line here. Stop is in action. Murdoch gets the ball in. Over the timeline. Voida. Control in the front court. Gives it off to Heckle. Three and a half minutes left in the game. Heckle gets it back. Third quarter, I should say. And a foul by Denby. Denby. Oh. A little change of action there. I, I could have sworn it was a foul on St. John's, but I was mistaken. That's why I'm here, and the referees are on the floor. Stolen away by Heckle. Heckle going to the hole. Pump fake. And the foul is called on number 11, sorry. So Heckle will be shooting. Has a chance to make a three-point play. Three-point play. Shooting one. This shot goes. Doesn't Out. Go. <laughs> Tim Timchek into Delaronda. His shot's short. He gets his rebound. Goes up again. No, doesn't go. Heckle gets a rebound. Up the court quick. Little double pump. Ooh. Cruz up to Timchuk. Timchuk to Soare. Ooh. Should have been a foul hands. on that play. Murdoch loses control of the ball. They're having a tough time holding on to the ball. And it's St. John's ball at the end. Score 42-33. Two minutes and 39 seconds. Soare pulls up and it drops. He's a very good player. I like the way he plays. Heads up all the time. 
Heckel. Right now, St. John's has five team fouls, and Murdoch has three. Heckel and that's quite a bit, because in the first half, uh, both teams only had four uh, through the whole half. Warda, top of the key to Heckel. Heckel cuts through. Ball's lost in there. Heckel gets it back. Double pump. Bank and it goes. 44 two for 33. Heckel. 35 rather. 44 35. St. John lead. Under two minutes left in this third quarter. Della Ronde draws the foul and gets the two points. Looking at a three point play here. Scoring now 46 35 in favor of St. John's. That's 14 fouls now for Murdoch. Go around a shot and it goes. Three point play. 47 35. Minute 44 seconds left in the third quarter of the third place tournament here at the River East, uh, Cologne East rather. Freshman Boys Roundup. We're watching here on GWC. Inside to Denby. Denby, his shot doesn't go. Rebound by Rene. That shot was partially tipped. Up the course, Tim Chuck. His, his pass is stolen away. And Demby off to Heckle. Looks like Lawson's going to be checking back into the game. Waiting for a stoppage in play. Heckle at the top of the key. Looking for, and gets it to Boyda. And his shot is blocked. Tipped. By number 11 of St. John Suarez. Suarez rejected that one. So the little man is getting up. Rejection's kind of a harsh word. Let's say a bit of a tip. <laughs> Lawson comes in and puts in two points. Lawson seems to be their big score player for them. And the bomb to number five, Cruz. Ooh. Lawson with another foul. That's Lawson's fourth foul. I think uh, Greg Daniels took him out just for the fouls. Fouling too much and he comes in and he causes that foul. Yeah. That's four. He hits first to his two. Balls in bounds. As it's forty nine thirty seven. Favor St. John's. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Murdoch with the ball in the front court. Heckle, Lawson. As they move the ball around the key really effectively. They got to get it inside though. Lawson back out to Heckle. Looks like they're looking for the last shot. 23 seconds left in the third quarter. They're hanging on. Moving the ball successfully. 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Now is when they should start looking in. Looking in, get it into Denby. They Denby got it in up. pretty good. Doesn't get the shot, but it rebound. counts. Rebound by Heckel, and his shot goes in. Little tip there by Heckel. That was quite, some, quite a nice tip. Came in at a very Score appropriate Score now time. at the end of the third quarter, 49-39 in favor of St. John's. 10-point game. What do you say, Ray? Uh, do you think Murdoch can come out and pull this game out? Well, I think they have the talent to, but what they have to do is uh, get those boards. They're still not boarding enough right now. Well, 49-39. Both teams in bonus for the last quarter of the third place finals here at the Kelowna Nice. Reaver Roundup. Reaver Roundup. There's a buzzer as we undergo a uh, fourth and final quarter. It's Murdoch ball. Heckel off to Lawson. Lawson takes the lane, pulls up the jump shot. Short of his mark. Gets his own rebound, but it's tipped away. 
Kemchak up quick this to Cruz. Cruz has been raking out on those fast breaks. I like that. They got to get somebody back there watching them. Suare doesn't go. On the floor. And he gets the foul. Suare on the foul there. And it's bonus at the other end. One and one. 49-39. Seven minutes and 36 seconds left. Demby shooting the one and one. Bonus. First one goes. Good foul shoot. Gumby's second shot goes. He now has seven points. Score is 49-41 now. Murdoch is closing in on, uh, on uh, St. John's lead. Bravo. Turnover for St. John's. Going the other way, Murdoch. Heckle's been bringing the ball up rather slowly in this game. I, I would think they would be rather... Uh, more likely to run on them, but it seems well, like they want to walk it up. I think they want to keep the game slow because uh, if they started running, I think St. John's would pull away from them. So keep it slow to their pace. Good point, good point. Well taken. Lost on the top of the key. Moving the ball around well, though. Yeah, they're a well-disciplined team. You can tell by the way they... Lost Move it around, work it go. in. And Cruz breaks out again. No fast break this time, though. Little check there by Heckle, but doesn't get anything. Cruz. Out to Cruz. Shot short. Lawson on the rebound. Lawson brings it up himself. Looks host to coast. Pulls up. Shot doesn't go. And got Suare going up the court. Fast break. Lawson gets the rebound. I think he was intimidated there. What do you think? Well, yeah, a big guy like Lawson gets up in the air. Could uh, intimidate a lot of people's shots. Lawson on the shot, short, tipped and saved. Number 40. Banna still. Ball scramble on the floor. Lawson picks it up. And it's off with Murdoch. And 49, they still get another chance yet to close the lead in. Heckle goes to the hoop hard. Shot up there by... And doesn't go. Cruz. Double pump off to Rennes. From the outside and he hits his shot. That was a nice change up when he saw Lawson come over to uh, block his shot. 51-41, St. John lead. Five minutes and 15 seconds left in the fourth and final quarter of the third place finals. Echo for Murdoch. Off to Lawson. Couldn't get a shot off, though. Had a pretty big man in his face. Trying to move the ball around. Off to Lawson again. He swings it off to Heckle. Heckle back to Lawson. Lawson pulls up. Short. Rebound, doesn't go for Murdoch. Again, Heckle this time, his drops. Fast break again, Cruz is just leaving on the shots there. I think what Cruz does is decides that as soon as he sees the ball go up, he's gone, he doesn't stick around a rebound. And Lawson goes right to the hole, coast to coast. 51-45. Favor St. John's. Comeback right now, coming by Murdoch. Delorande, baseline, been in a little bit of trouble. Off the cruise, three point line there. His shot goes baseline. Seems like he was tempted to take that shot, but changes his mind. Double team in the corner. Cruz pulls up. There he does. Three-point shot. And he hits that one. A big shot for Cruz. As St. John's goes up for a big lead. 
three minutes, 42 seconds left. Murdoch calls a timeout. Well, they had this lead down to eight, now it's nine. The furthest away it was, uh, was what, uh, 11 points in this half. So the game is within reach. They can work that lead down gradually. But they have to get started right away because there's only 3.42 left in the game. 3.42 left in the final or the third place final, sir. Tigers come out of their huddle. New check into the to the game, number 12, Thornson for St. John's. He takes out Tim Chuck. Okay, play starts. Murdoch's ball. Off to Lawson. Lawson on the outside. Pulls up, doesn't go. But Heckle, his shot doesn't go. Fast break out to Cruz. Easy layup. And they had Cruz Wayne. They got to get a guy back there. 56 45. 3 14 left in the game. St. John's up and pulling away. To get in this game, uh, Murdoch McKay had to, uh, well, they lost to Gordon Bell, which is in the finals. They lost uh, 40 to 38. Lost on the interception. But they did win their first game against Steinbach, 63-37. Fast break again, out to Cruz. Waits for him, dumb pumps and puts it in. 58-45, 2.30 left in the final, final quarter. St. John's got to the third place game by uh, losing to Cologne East 74-59. Uh, but they did win uh, Sturgeon Creek 81-63. Then the baseline shot is good. 58-47. Ball's inside to Del Ronde. Kicks it back out, back into Del Ronde. Pulls up. Little hand on the ball, couldn't get the shot off. And Heckle brings the ball up quick. He's running down the court now, behind the back. Double pump, two points. Good coast to coast play. Good open court move by putting the ball behind his back. It's nice to see him handle the ball that well. Suave up quick to Del Ronde. He travels, turnover, and the ball goes the other way. Boyda checks in for a quick run for number 30, Morris House. About one and a half minutes left in this the third place game. Seems Score like is 58-49. What was that, Rob? Seems like Murdoch's wasting a lot of time since they're down so many points. I mean, I mean, I would, I would think if I was coaching, I would like to try and get some points on the hoop as, as quickly and effectively as possible. Heckle goes to the hoop and he puts in two more points off of that steal in the backcourt. They keep throwing that long bomb off the Cruz. They're getting somebody back on defense now. That's that's good to see. Officials were underway. Louisville in red, Oklahoma in white. Here's Purvis Ellison. He says it to Rene. Off the Cruz in the corner. Checks his three point line. Kicked around, 44 seconds left in the, in the quarter. St. John still. Seconds left in the game. I think they should have waited and uh, tried to foul when they got it to one of the big men, which don't seem to be uh, that good of a foul shooters. But nevertheless, there is a foul. Sorry, he's hitting nine. He's hit two for two today and he misses his third shot well maybe it was a good foul then another foul on heckle 35 sorry. seconds left in the game it was on denby i'm sorry it wasn't on heckle it was on denby that's denby's 
believe his second foul. She on the line is Thorns. Second shot. It doesn't go. Good rebound. Strong rebound. Wow, Out to one. Lawson. Lawson to Boyda. Boyda short. Shot is short. Who's with the rebound? They Who's seem to be getting more rebounds this oh. quarter. Lawson picks up his fifth foul. And a way to pick it up in the front court. Lawson had quite a good game, though. He helped the team out quite a bit. Lawson finishes the game with, with uh, 12 points. And played an effective game. 59-51, 22 seconds left in the final quarter of this game. This is the second shot. And Delaronde goes to the hoop. Ball's loose. Nobody's got their claim on that ball yet. Cruz got it. Cruz pulls it out. Into Sly. Back out to Cruz. Three-point line. Doesn't go this time. Denby. Two seconds left. One. Cruz Butter. pulls it out. And that goes the game. Well, that was our final. What's up? Our, our final score now, 59-51 for St. John's. St. John's Tigers winning the third place, winning the third place Reaver Roundup as they defeated Murdoch McKay, the Klansman, in a tough battle, I believe. We'll be, we'll be back with the final game of the freshman Colonies Freshman Boys Reaver Roundup. Uh, just one moment. You're watching this on GWC Channel 11 Sports.